Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nino Sport, man. This is episode number one of season two, man. Yes, it's the beginning of season two, which means we go through the pre-season and some free few, 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 few transfers that we're going to bring in. We're going to bring in some new players, man. Yes, we need some new players just to strengthen the team up for Champions League. Uh... As for Kera playing the, the right back, I don't know. I did think of that, but I think I might change him. We have some many problems there with him. Probably he needs to go back to his center back, but if he goes back to center back position, he's going to play in the center back and he's going to play in the second team. Stats of Rodrigo. I'm thinking of getting this young man. I know some they will say it's unrealistic, whatever, but I need him to sit on my bench, man. I think it would be fine to be a bench player that I would just use in, like, when I'm in the Champions League because I, I, I need a strong bench now. I need the, the strong second team, sort of, because I will play games with them. I'm going to sign this stranger, and I don't know who. Who's region is this, but he's good, man. He's 18 and he's good. Let's go and sign him. Give him a role. I'll say prospect. He's fine with that. He's only 18, of course. But his stats are so good, man. That's why I'm signing him. His stats are so, so, so good. That's okay. And we're not even losing much money. We're just putting him there just in case we have injuries and then we had to use him. Let's go on and sign this guy as well. I want Ante Rebic back. I want Ante Rebic back, man. I know that I have a guy by the name of um, Fraser that I just recently signed on a pre-contract. He's he did come now. He's in my he's with the team, but I think I need Rebic back, man. The combination of Rebic and the guys it was so good, man. With them combination, Rebic. Um, Vena and Martinez, it was brilliant. He provided so many assists to them. And with Chalanogo out, Rabich can play Cam as well. He can play so many positions. A striker, a Cam and a left wing, which means he can be good all over. With the second team, we're going to simulate this game with Olympic Marseille. They beat us four. Oh my god. Which means our second team is still disastrous. It's worse than last season then. And I'm gonna be loaning out few players that I'm not using because I, I, I'm trying to avoid players who are gonna be unhappy on my bench, man. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Let's do some training a little bit. We have pen on training Tranko and Sandoro. Tranko, I think I might sell Tranko though when the good offer comes because I need to raise that money that they said I must sell players. But I sold. I think I sold few, but the money is not showing anything. Somebody's looking at him at Rebic. There's an offer for the wall of which I will accept. Alvarez is also gonna go out on loan. I don't know to which team, but whoever is looking for him, I, I hope they play him because I want my play my young players to play because I might do that that season. It would depend how exciting this gets in this season, man. If it's too exciting, I'm doing the third season. Paqueto scored the only goal we won one nil with bit real bad yes. First win in the preseason until Rabbit accepted my offer on the fifty thousand a week. That's not bad. It's really not bad. Alvarez is being loaned out. That's good. He's out on loan now. 
just to get some game time and get some experience there then when he comes back he will be a complete player for us though he won't come back as a complete complete player but he probably will be like on the bench of the second team maybe can make a third team i don't know how how tight the features are gonna be in this we lost on penalties to Sevilla 5-4 that's the end of our run in the preseason tournament we got 3.1 50 it's like 3.1 million as we go on and on and on our first game is gonna be there yes there's an offer for luxury I, I would like luxury to go the guy is 27 and he's been playing a role of a bench player for a long time with rodrigo coming in who can fill up the gap in the second team so yeah the guy can leave man can easily go but I need some more money on him, not just 12. Nope, that's too low. I don't need that sell on clouds on him. You can have it. 14.7, that's okay. At least we'll get some money on him. It's not like we desperately need of money. We don't need it that much since our backline is it's more like solid, except that uh, I'm worried about the right back position. Of which I might need to sort soon. Oh, I will buy a second player if there's a loan for Dennis. I think uh, it's from Bologna. No, I'm gonna reject it. To be honest, I might consider loaning Traore but I, I'm still thinking man Traore is gonna play a big role in the in the second team with his speed because I know when I put him in he can just do magic let's set up our scouts for this season though I'm not gonna be signing a lot of players in my youth in my youth squad I'm only gonna try and sign the best Let's set this guy up in Portugal and see if he can get something there. I need to go to South America. Brazil again. I need an attacker this time and see if I'm going to be able to get one of those attackers. I know that AC Milan, they used to sign those Brazilian players a lot. Then let me go and see if I can get another Piantec or Lewandowski. Let's go in for Rodrigo. The deal that we tried to delegate our assistant manager failed to get it through, so I'm just gonna go in myself. I don't know why he failed because I gave him like almost the same thing. We got Rodrigo. Let's go and negotiate his contract. I hope his salary is not going to be too expensive. I just hope so. He's currently on 81k. Oh my god. Let's see if he can take half of that. He wants 52. And after five goals, you need 340. I'll accept that. We might be done with the transfers. I'm not sure. Um, do I need anybody? We have Fraser. We have Rabbage. We have Rodrigo now. Um, we have that other guy, the, the right back that I bought from Ben Yu. He's strong and he can he can run too. So I'm thinking that probably if Kara leaves or if Kara continues to play, because you see, grow man, he's on 81 now. I don't want to lose him. He's a good player. 
probably he can play a huge role in the second team. The problem is with the media. They're gonna start asking many questions on interviews. That's another challenge on its own. That's why I fear that if I take him off, I'm gonna have problems with media. I might have problems with media, but we will see how it goes, man. We will see how it goes with that. We will see. You can see my bench is full of, my reserve team is full of youth players. Some of them ain't even that good to be there. To be honest, the player who's less than 60, I don't know why I, who's, yeah, who's rated lower than 60, why did I promote those players? Maybe there's something special that I saw on them, but really, I don't think they will get a chance this season. I really don't think they would get a chance. I'm waiting to loan out Gibbs White. He's good to go, man. But Tonali is going nowhere. Tonali is going to play a major role. Especially he's a backup for Kessia. If anything happens to Kessia, he will jump in and play. We're going to change the captaincy. I'm taking away captaincy from Kara. I don't know who gave him the captaincy. If they come to me, I don't know if it's a good thing. I'm gonna ignore them. If they're trying to tell me who should be the captain and stuff. I will simply ignore my assistant manager this time. Thank you so much guys for watching. I love you all. First gameplay is coming next.